up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm going to review chapter 110 of Boku no Hiro Academia. So is this going to be the routine now that Boku no Hiro is going to come out on Wednesdays instead of Thursdays? I mean I like it that it's coming out on Wednesdays but not this late. Please, a little earlier, if possible. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be picky. Anyway, with this chapter, the majority of it was just the the gang struggling on getting points, saving the the the, the rescuees. But the the problem is, is that they it's very difficult because some people, even though like. Uh, Uraraka's team, they had a nice plan and stuff to save them, like Uraraka, she was gonna use her powers and everything to lift up the rocks and stuff, but she couldn't just do that. The, the guy said that he was gonna take off points, so he wants them to all work together. He wants the team to use each other as resources, and he says that, like, uh, performing this task by yourself does take courage, however, you're wasting resources, and he's talking about the teammates. Like, basically, overall, the majority of the chapter was, if you got buddies, use them! <laughs> use them! And interesting strategy that he also says, but he, I, I'm talking about the grandpa, I believe the grandpa was the one mainly talking throughout, and he was saying that they should switch responsibilities as well. Some person takes care of first aid, some person goes goes in, rescues the guy, other person makes sh make sure they got backup, you know? So that's very interesting, and I like that they brought this up of other ways how to use your teammates, so that was pretty cool. But then things get a little difficult. Now not only do they have to save people, but now they also gotta defeat the villain. The villain is Gang Orca, ranked number 10. And number three in the hero who looks most like a villain department. I thought that was funny. We don't know his power just yet. However, Gang Orca also brought back up. Damn it. So now our main cast has to not only rescue people, but they have to defeat a villain as well. And he's ranked number 10. Even Aizawa Sensei, he was just like, whoa, this is. This is a lot for the, for the provisional license exam. I'm like, damn, this is as far as they would go. Like, I was like, I was gonna say, damn, if you're shocked, then this must be pretty intense. And Insa or Inasa, I, one of the two. I, I'm still trying to memorize his name, but we get a bit more focus with him in this chapter. And then at the end, we have when Gang Orca appears and stuff and has his buddies with him being all like, so, how are you guys do against me? And then we get one panel with Todoroki, one panel with Inasa, and one panel with Izuku. So, hopefully, hopefully, maybe they're hinting that the three of them are gonna work together or something like that? Because I really just want more interactions with Todoroki and Inasa. That would be great. I would love that because I love Inasa as a character. And then Inasa and, and Todoroki's uh, conversations are very interesting. And the fact that Inasa hates Todoroki. And I'm like, damn. Yo. Other stuff with this chapter, Bakugo being a lovable prick as always. Dude, man, even though, yes, the HUC rescuees are not injured and stuff, still Bakugo took it literally and he was just all like, you guys are fine, get up and help yourselves. I'm like, damn, Bakugo, you're supposed to pretend that they're seriously injured. God damn it. Oh, that was, that was too funny. And of course he got minus points for his language, so that was, that was hilarious. Enjoyable chapter, felt pretty short because, you know, everything was really straightforward, but hopefully things are gonna get really intense next week. So catch me tomorrow as I review, uh, kiss him, not me, all out. Uh, I think Haikyuu comes out tomorrow. And there may or may not be a live reaction of Keijo on Chibi's channel. I don't know, nothing really official just yet, but yeah. And I'll see if I can get my chapter 2 of Arc 4 of ReZero web novel review out tomorrow. Jesus Christ, that was a mouthful. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.